what it do, what it do. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Wise. We back in the building with another banger, man. Hell Divers 2 News update. I haven't done one of these in a while, so, you know, got to keep spreading that managed democracy. But uh, we got a new war bond coming out. We're going to be talking about that as well as we've completed the major order. We'll quickly discuss that. And we got a patch coming confirmed next week from the devs. We're going to talk about that. And, uh, yeah, I've, you know, I've been paying attention to some of the other creators on YouTube or whatnot. You know, we got some that are pessimistic, some that are more optimistic. Me, I'm somewhere in the middle. I like to just keep it 100 and call it how I see it. You feel me? So, anyway, let's watch this trailer, though. Yes, I'm in the official Helldivers 2 Discord, which is jam-packed. But we're going to watch this right quick. So, let's, let's, let's check this out right fast, though. Let's do that. I'm getting that Rambo uh, Metal Gear Solid vibes. That's it right there. Oh, that's the one right there. As a secondary, a three-barrel shotgun. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, I. Oh, that's it right there. That's it right there. That's it right there. I like that. So clearly, as you can see, they're changing the war bond cadence, which is what a lot of you guys asked for. So. I don't want to hear any of y'all out there complaining, oh man, they're changing that. This is the stuff you people were asking for. Y'all said y'all wanted them to slow down the cadence and all that other stuff to concentrate more. This is what y'all wanted, so I don't want to see any tears. Real hell divers don't cry or complain. We just get to work. But anyway, um, yeah, so we got those changes coming. They said they're changing up the frequency of how often they come. Basically so they can have more time to do more testing and things of that nature, I'm sure, for development purposes. You know what I mean? And uh, this is what the community has been asking for. Again, I'm in the Discord, so I know. This is what people have been asking for. But anyway, the real reason I made this video is because of this post right here coming from the homie Twinbeard, man. One of the, one of the you know, probably the best community manager they got for real. And uh, people have been asking mad questions about the patch, blah, 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 blah. And they haven't really been saying too much. They've been keeping things under wraps, which I kind of like because there have been so many leaks about the game that it's hard to get hyped for stuff because you already know what's going to happen. And me personally, I'm not a fan of leaks because I like to be surprised. That's just me. But anyway, so we got this post coming from Twinbeard, and it says, so about that patch, here's a little something. And he's only doing this for the, for the community people because, you know, people have been asking. But, um, and Twinbeard is a really good dude about trying to keep communication and keep everybody kind of calm in the Discord. You feel me? Uh, he says, here's a little something. It's Friday after all. Have a great weekend, divers. Okay, so Patron, oh, patrols and spawn rates will be reverted to back to what they was. That's something I heard a lot of people talking about. Visible supply lines and attack origins. Now, that I, that's fascinating. That's actually a really good change. Something else that a lot of people have been asking about. So that's, that's great. That's actually really great. And then we got uh, invite-only lobbies coming. You know what I mean? And then we got super samples will be at level six now, which is good because some people no, they're not quite ready for they don't they're not quite you know up there with the seven eight nine you know the suicide impossible hell dive crowd you know me I'm in the seven to nine realm I usually keep it at about seven or eight that's like my comfort zone then I bump it up to nine when I just want to have shit go crazy but uh, anyway and then last one. Of course, it says 100 changes and fixes. And this right here is why you give your devs time to cook. And don't, you know, be on a back all the time sweating them. Because I notice a lot in modern games today, people like to sweat developers unnecessarily when they don't really know what it's taking to go into that work or that change. And this is why I'm one of those people that don't really do that. I'm more to sit back and let them cook. And if what they drop is good, then that means being patient is worth it. So yeah, that's that. That's actually great. And as you can see from the reactions in the bottom, uh, you know, all our hero divers, of course, you know, from all over the world in different places, you know, everybody's digging this. People, people are, people are glad. So that's good. That's really good, honestly. You know what I'm saying? And back to that original premise, you know, 
people people got to kind of lay off of Arrowhead a little bit. I know the whole Sony thing happened, and it was kind of out of everybody's control and shit. And in my personal opinion, the PC PC guys made it worse because you basically got people banned because you guys kept complaining about, oh, it's being sold in places where you can't have PSN. And then they took it from those places, and then y'all was like, oh, oops. So, you know, y'all kind of ruined it for those people. I just want y'all to know that. I don't care what you say or how you feel. In reality, you ruined it for those people because you talk too much. Because clearly Sony didn't mind letting that shit slide until y'all broadcasted it all over the internet. But uh, either way, this is good for the game. I definitely feel like uh, I'm digging the War Bond. I like that it's more theme-centric rather than just giving us some guns, giving us some skins, and putting a name on it. It's definitely seems like it's more theme-skinned. I like the vibes. You know what I'm saying? I like that they're giving uh, camos for Pelican 1 and stuff like that. You know, good cosmetics. You know what I'm saying? I like that they're cutting back on the weapons. Just to make sure things are good because, you know, people be, I personally think most of the war bomb weapons are good. But if you ask me, this is just me personally, the best weapons literally are in the free one. The very first one. All the best weapons are in the first one. That's just me personally. The breaker shotgun, the scorcher. I mean, I could go on, but we ain't going to keep going there. But that's probably the best one they've had, honestly. But I get what they're doing here. And plus, you don't want to be oversaturated with weapons because then you, you'll never be able to have fun. You'll always be like, man, dang, I want to use this. I want to use that. I want to use this. You know, because there's just so much to use. And I don't want to be oversaturated. I'd rather be oversaturated with stratagems to choose from than actual guns. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I mean, I play COD, bro. I mean, I've played COD. I mean, it ain't but so many guns. You know what I mean? I'd rather have to, like, you know, until we start getting to the space age type. You know what I'm saying? But that's no here, no there. Either way, I think all of these are good changes. I'm excited for next week. You know what I'm saying? One time Super Earth. Who? Raw. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be smooth out there, my divers. Be safe on your dives. Oh, yeah. Major order. We're back to the automatons. Um, you know what? I actually seen something about that. Let's, uh, okay. I ain't going to show that because it's Discord. But either way. Uh, you know, we're back to all the times. So get out there, dive. Y'all already know what time it is, man. And don't forget, if you like the video and you enjoy it, like, share, subscribe. Holla at your boy. In the meantime, between time, it's your boy Wise. Hoorah. We about to go. 100.